Yeah, welcome to Lower Six Further Maths A Level Pure Core 1 Past Paper, June 2013. Here we're working on question 9, a brand new question to the Pure Core 1 syllabus. So I've added this question in myself. Right, okay, so what we're going to look at here is finding the 360 revolution, so a volume of the, um, the area here. So it's bounded by the curve y equals square root of x squared plus 3. The line for y equals k, y equals 2, and the x and the y-axis. So the formula for this, seeing as we're revolving around the y-axis, is pi times the integral between our two bounds of x squared dy. So we've swapped over how they usually are. It's usually a y squared and a dx, but seeing as we're revolving it around the y-axis, we have to do it this way. So this is going to be pi times the integral from k down to 2. Uh, and we need to work out what x squared is. So we've got that y equals the square root of x squared plus 3. So we need to rearrange it to make x squared the subject. So square both sides, y squared equals x squared plus 3. Take away your 3. Whoops. Take away 3 equals x squared. <clears throat> and you've got your answer for x squared. So I'm going to substitute in y squared minus 3. And I'm now going to integrate it with respect to y. So this is going to equal pi times the boundary between. So we're going to integrate it now. So that means we increase the um, power by 1 and divide by the new power. So increase the 2 to a 3 and then divide by that 3. Uh, we have a y0 here, so increase that 0 to a 1, so y, 3y three y to the 1, and then divide by 1, so you just ignore that. And then it's going to be in between k down to 2. Now this answer we're told in the question here is 30 pi. So from here onwards, I'm going to be cancelling out these pi's here and here on both sides. And we need to work out k, so let's substitute in k and 2 and subtract both the terms from each other. So k cubed over 3 minus 3 lots of k. And then we subtract 2 substituted in. So 2 cubed over 3 minus 3 lots of 2. And this will equal 30. So let's simplify now. k cubed over 3 minus 3k. So that would be a takeaway. 8 over 3, and then this here will be an add 6 equals 30. Right, so what we'll do, I think, now is we'll times through by 3 to get rid of those nasty fractions. k cubed minus 9k minus 8 add 18 equals 90. Uh, take the 90 over to the other side and do a bit of tidying. We'll get k cubed minus 9k minus 80 equals 0. Right, so we need to do a bit of factorising now. Um, it's going to be a number bigger than 2, so I could go through and try using the factor theorem 3, 4, 5. Um, it might be a fraction, so it might be 5 over 2, 7 over 2, 9 over 2, something like that. But I think I'll use my calculator to help me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recall the um, in the menu, I'm going to go down to option A, and there will be a polynomial solver down there. So you select option A, you go to option 2, which is for polynomials, you click a degree 3 polynomial, and you type in your polynomial. So you can see here I'm using x's, but really I've got k's here, that will just transfer over the x's to k's. And I'll write in the coefficients. So it's going to be 1 for the k cubed. We've not got any k squared, so I'll put a 0 there. We've got minus 9 for the k, and we've got takeaway 80. So once we've done that, we'll press Enter, and we get our first solution of 5. So that means I can definitely divide by k minus 5 on my polynomial here. So let's see what I'll have left after that. I'll get k squared, uh, that will give me minus 5k squared, so I need to add back on 5k, 
that will get me to um, minus 25k. So I need to add back on uh, 16, so plus 16, and check if the last one works. 5 times 16, yeah, that's 80. So I get my polynomial here. So I've got that k is 5. Um, from this solution here, this will only give me a complex set of solutions. So this is now no solutions here. So that's my answer then. k equals 5, and I've used my calculator to help me with some of the math there. That's excellent. Five marks.